So you guys may have seen my video for how to put Android on your HD2. Now uh, I've changed up uh, ROMs and Android builds. Um, you saw how to flash the ROMs, so all you gotta do is download whichever ones you want, search for it on the web. You know how that works. Uh, this one is called Core Droid series this is the ROM itself came with cookies home tab a really good uh, icons uh, the slider came fully loaded call history manila TV Facebook weather reader so that was really nice um, Another good thing about this one is the Wi-Fi tethering works. Um, whereas on some of the other ROMs, I was having trouble getting that work. Core Cell series. That's what this is called. Got a lot of nice customization um, things and good stuff like that. So, that's the ROM that I'm using. Now, a lot of you guys on about the Android video, a couple of uh, comments were talking, oh, I didn't show you guys the Android. Well, that I had to put that video under 10 minutes, so um, trust me, the comments themselves should have showed you that they work. So let's go ahead and use one of my, uh, an Android auto boot. Now, when you're switching builds, what I suggest you do is rename the Android folder that you currently are using and rename it Andy and delete the Android secure folder. This will let the new build create its own secure folder. Um, if you don't, when you boot that first time it's not um, taking a long time like it's supposed to so it's actually using stuff from the other build and it might not be compatible so you delete that and then you run um, I've already done all that so and I've been running this so it's gonna work quick now this is called the core droid Froyo sense build available from XDA developers I've got the link on there to a hot file um, the good thing about what I'm using here is I'm using the ROM and build by the same people so it's giving me pretty good data connection another nice thing about this one is it came preloaded um, ready to go with uh, T-Mobile as you can see, we got T-Mobile. Um, this build came with the Magic Smoke live back wallpaper. So let's go ahead and actually show you guys up here. Battery, I am connected. Now the good thing about this is it came from an HTC device. So you get their really, really nice widgets. This is their um, text message widget. We've got, this is especially nice one here. As you can see, 
that data is working. Uh, I've set Gizmodo to this. And it shows you a lot of articles. But it's still loading, I think. This is their mail widget. And this is a really nice one here, the friend stream. It's still loading. But I bet you this one's ready to go. couple of cool things I found uh, was this APK tour it's a repo link to go to this new Dolphin browser HD you guys gotta check it out uh, and there's a lot of add-ons available for it in the marketplace um, I'm really digging it There's all the add-ons. YouTube search. Bam! Without even having to go onto the site. We'll exit that. Um, task widget. I use the smaller version. Um, all the HTC widgets seem to come in this large version as well. Um, marketplace does work. Let's go ahead and Check what we're running there. 229. Photo stitch is from the market. Navigation. 3D gallery is nice. But can be a bit of a memory hog. But let me show you guys what you get with the uh, with the three uh, D gallery. If you pinch this, you can scroll through all the pictures. Is pretty nice. Um, as you can see, live pipe, wall, live wallpapers work. Um, I'm using beautiful widgets for my weather instead of the big weather widget that came on it. Um, marketplace works. Data works. Um, hotspot does not work. Um, that's okay because your phone comes with that already. If you just boot back into Windows. Camera works with flash. Video camera works with flash. Um, that's about it. Enjoy. Android. And you got this also. So, later.